Are river cruises a good experience and value for the money? Stay tuned as I offer some of my experiences, tips, tricks, and suggestions on what gear to take and maybe what gear to leave behind. Welcome to the latest vlog. I'd like to offer a few suggestions regarding river cruises and photography. I'll speak about Viking since that's the company I've traveled with twice, once along the Danube and once along the Rhine. The Viking cruisings are designed for an older group as opposed to young families, though I have seen younger families on board. They're also designed to teach about the cultures and histories in the cities and towns where they travel. You'll visit many UNESCO World Heritage Sites, along with many churches and cathedrals. As far as photography, my number one tip would be to take the pre, and if you can afford the time and money, the post excursions. This way you arrive a few days before the actual river cruise begins. It offers your body clock time to adjust. You'll also get far more photo opportunities. On my last trip, after the river part of the cruise had ended, we spent two extra days in Lucerne, Switzerland. That's when I got my best images. I woke around sunrise and wandered around surrounded by a quiet downtown area. River cruise ships travel mostly at night. Therefore, you're rarely in towns for blue or golden hours. The boat is traveling to the next destination. It's why I suggest the pre and post add-ons. That's when you're more likely to get the best light for images and if you prefer long exposures. During the day, the tour takes you on mostly walking tours. Sometimes you're allowed free time after the tour or they drive you back to the boat. Each day is slightly different. On a good day, the boat is docked next to the town you're exploring. Take full advantage of those days for your photography. Other times they bus you to a location and you may or may not have time to explore after the walking tour is concluded. I tend to look for photo spots during the walking tour, even take a few images, but I know if I have time later, I go back and get the composition that I really wanted. Most walking tours are mid-morning or mid-afternoon, not ideal time for photos. That's when you visit the churches, museums, and grab all the images you want indoors while the light isn't the best for outdoor shots, unless you're shooting infrared, of course. If you're docked for the day in a city like Cologne, Germany, or Budapest, Hungary, don't stay on the ship when you have a free afternoon or morning. Allow your spouse or friends to shop or drink beer, or, and then you take an hour or so to grab some images. I don't recommend you travel alone unless you're sure you know how to return to the trip and are comfortable walking in strange places. However, if that doesn't bother you, take full advantage of a little free downtime while the boat is in port during the early mornings or late afternoons when the sun isn't at its peak. Lenses. My first trip I took a 20-58 300mm primes along with a 28-300 to lens. I had to force myself to use the 300 once. I didn't use the 20 millimeter at all. I ended up using the 58 and the 28 to 300 the vast majority of the time. The last trip, I took a 50 millimeter 1.8 and a 24 to 120 f4 lens. I had to force myself to use the 50 millimeter one afternoon. I used the 24 to 120 95% of the time, even in the churches since my camera and lenses have stabilization. I pushed the ISO to 800 and at f4 I could get images at about 1 30th or second or faster. Did I miss the extra reach to 200 or even 300 millimeter during the overall cruise experience? Yes, but only a few times. If I had a 100 to 400 lens, I would have used it the day you travel midday along the river to see the castles. That likely would have been the only time I would have used it. However, that's my style of photography. Yours might be different. Keep in mind that you're doing a lot of street photography and not a lot of landscapes. You'll get a few opportunities for panoramas. Tripods. I use a tripod at home all the time. I'm not adverse to using them. 
They are, however, difficult to use on river cruises. For one thing, you can't use them in most indoor places like churches. They're forbidden. For another, the tour guides keep you moving on the walking tours and you don't really have time to set one up. Again, if you take the pre and post days, that's when I would have used one. Were there times I wish I had one? Sure. Did I really have to have one? No. If you want to do long exposures at sunrise or sunset, then of course they come in handy. However, on the river, you're traversing the river most sunrises and sunsets. There are some mornings you arrive before sunrise, but that doesn't mean you're docked next to a town. Do some research on Google Earth and your itinerary before you leave. However, don't get caught up into finding all the best photo locations before you arrive. Enjoy the experience of a new location. I find it's better to be surprised when you find something good and always, always turn around and look behind you along the street you're walking. Look up and down as well. I can't emphasize enough to pick your spots to find time away from the ship, either alone or with others. You really do have to work to find your time slots for photography. My advice is to understand that river cruises aren't set up for photography, but you can get good images. Go on the trip with the knowledge that you're on vacation with your family and or friends, and that's the goal, not the photos. I try to get one good photo per day and wish to come home with one wall hanger. That way I wasn't disappointed if the weather doesn't cooperate or you couldn't find enough time to find that perfect image. At the end of the vacation, if you had a good time and the spouse is smiling, you should too. Maybe then you can go on a real photo vacation the following year. Lastly, are Viking cruises a good value overall? I would say a definite yes. If you were to add up the cost of the flight, hotels, food, transportation, guided tours, they're a very good value. I found the staff courteous on both trips and I'm looking forward to going on another. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you have joined this video. It really helps me out. Till next time, take care of yourself and I hope you get some good photos. Mm -hmm.